Good morning, it is 8 in the a.m. Carl's just risen from his bed. We were going to do 200 kilometres today, but we heard the wind and rain battering against the wind and we thought, Ooh, balls no, no, to no. that. No, no, no. But we are going to do 69 Maloney's and we're going to go up to Chatsworth, so a bit more hilly than we planned because we did plan a, fat, a flat, a flat, I don't know what I'm saying, a flat Not 200. Wrong. So we're going to do a hilly 110k, so it might actually be worse than the 200, but... I've got my rain jacket on. We've committed now. I need to put my rain jacket on. Let's get going. So Carl's just swapping my deep dishes, or as everyone else calls them, deep rims, to the smaller rims, which are the 34, 37, my lovely reservies. They are gifted, but I love them. And I do love my 50, 65s over here, these bad boy deep dishes. But the problem with them is, not problem, but they're super fast, but in the wind, when you've got deep rims, you can get blown around a bit, and it is windy today. So we're swapping onto the smaller rimmies, which have come off my lovely Cannondale. Carl looks really thrilled about it, and our carriage is an absolute tip. I love that, it's just me doing it. In fact, I can swap wheels, but I've been faffing around getting all the snacks ready, I'm to Kyle, and I'm carrying all well, the no, tools you've been today. sourcing getting your own snacks ready, because I've done all mine. <laughs> Woohoo! We are off, and we can feel that tailwind, so on the way back, back headwind is going to be brutal, but we're not thinking about that now. Go on, Carl, get those pod loins going. <laughs> Five Maloney, so I'm just having a quick stop because I rode Kyle's bike the other day and I have longer legs than Kyle, so. And she didn't change it back. Sorry about that, Kyle. Uncourteous. I'm so bad. But yeah, it's all right, it's changing it. It's mizzle, it's drizzle, it's mizzle in. Just the usual roadblock on our local lanes. Hello there, ladies. Yeah, don't worry, we're not going to hurt you. Oh, they're cute. Kyle really? looked mesmerised by them. Pretty smart. <laughs> They do pong. Oh. Here comes the farmer. Get out of it. Get out of it. <laughs> oh. That's what I say to Carl when he's getting my snacks. Get out of it. Thank you very much. That's all right. <laughs> Hello, tractors. Love it, Eck. It's misty, drizzle, it's mizzle. Oh, not nice weather, but actually, I don't really mind it when it's raining like this because it's not too bad. But we are now approaching Brassington where we've got a big climb to do. Well, it's not too big, but it's quite steep. It's a Straga segment called Dragon Climb, so the name suggests it's not nice. Let's go. Shake that ass for me. Shake that ass for me. And up we go. Whew. It is a steep one, let me tell you. And I'm in the wrong gear now. Blooming Nora. It is a steep one. Whew. My loins are spinning. The thing with this hill is, you think you're at the top and it just keeps going. Uh, up we go. <sighs> up into the mist. You can have lovely views again today in the Peak District. Not. And we're at the top, but look at this lovely view. Crystal clear views as usual. Blimey neck, at least we've got a yippee. Yippee! Woohoo! Resting those cod lines. The ideal weather, but this is the reality of cycling in the UK. It's not sunshine all the time. But if you get out and enjoy it, all is good. I mean, it's not cold, so I think if it was cold, I wouldn't be enjoying it, but it's 18 degrees, so it's all right. Hello, cowies. Chatsworth, woohoo. Hello, sheepy. Climbing again. Climbing, climbing. Top of the morning to ya. Woo. <laughs> Up we go. Oh, I just love a hilly ride. Hello. <laughs> morning. Yippee! They're going gravelling. We're off-roading as we call it. Down we go! Oh blooming it, when I planned the route in bed this morning, I didn't double check and it tried to take us on a track basically over those moors on a little gravel track. So we're not doing that today on these bikes. So we're gonna have to go back the way we've come and reroute, but car's up with his banana, aren't you? And it does mean we get to freewheel back down the hill we've just climbed up, so yeah, we might be going back into Chatsworth again. Blooming it, we're back in Chatsworth now. Carl's not an happy bunny, he's gone off. Look at these sheepy! Hello sheepy! Oh, some more people going on a gravel. I think there's some sort of gravel event going on. Off-road event. Loving it. My route planning today, I think I did it in a bit of a rush this morning. It's not ideal, but we keep on going. You right, Kyle? <laughs> You're powering up there, those lines. Well done. Woohoo! Down we go. Snail's pace riding. Oh my goodness, it's headwind like mad. Uh, 
Oh, what a palaver. So the Garmin's rerouting us back onto our route, but the road it's trying to take us down is closed to everyone. Like you can't get through it. There's like big gates up and I'm not hiking my bike over them. So we're still going back the way we came and hopefully we're going to get back on our route at some point because I've got a new cafe I want to try. So we need to get there. But on a positive, it's clearing up. The rain has stopped. Matlock bath. I've already had a bath. I've had about 10 million showers with this rain. Oh, man, heck. Woo. Along we go. Matlock shower. Eek. Car spinning his loins fast today. Ready for the cafe. You can always tell we're near the cafe when car speeds up. And now we're in Matlock. Riding along, feeling good. Getting splattered, but don't really care. Hello, there. Oh, my neck. Fish and chips. I could do some of them. Gee whiz. We're riding through like we're on a time scale here. Oh, please don't change to red. It's all right, it's on green. Whew. So we're at Sanchinis, and one thing I noticed, yes, 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 chai latte. That is a cafe that I can say yes to, because you know me, I love my chai, so my day's just been made. And Kyle's happy as well, because they do a mocha. Kyle, they also do a puppuccino. You know, fancy that. It's 80p, so it's I'm for a dog. It's, yeah. <laughs> oh, look, we've got some more colours coming here. Hang on, let's say hi to them. Hello! <laughs> okay. First thing I spot. Look at this little fella. Hello. Is it he or she? She. she. Oh, hello. Skyler. Oh. <laughs> Don't want to lick that, it's probably sweaty. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, see, I've got my eye on. Is he bad boy? Is it like really thick brownie? <laughs> Is it good? Score out of 10. No. What would make it a 10? More of it. <laughs> Big flapjack, because you know, I love my oats. And, of course, chai latte, baby. I absolutely love chai. And if you've not tried chai, please do. I really can, I really do, you know, think it's a great drink. Yeah. Oh, the puppy's going. Bye, puppy. Um, if I do 95 Maloney's today, then I would have done 10,000 Maloney's so far this year. So basically, we've done... 62 Maloney, so 72, 82, 92, 33 more Maloney to do, and then I've done 10,000. So, Kyle's going to do about 10 more Maloney, aren't you? Now I'm going to carry on, all oh, don't save, and I'm going to hit 10,000 miles. Well, we've absolutely devoured that, and that was absolutely decent, delicious. You like that, Kyle? Yeah. So now I've got 30 something Maloney, and I'm going to hit my 10,000 miles for the year. Oh, yeah, baby. Can't believe I'm going to hit some 10,000 Maloney. No wonder my loins are knickknacked. But yeah, I just thought I might as well do it because we're going away in two days and I think it'd be nice to get it in the bag before we go away. So let's do it. Carl's stripping off. You all right, though? I want to draw my jersey. Carl's sodden because he's not got... I told him, bring your Gore-Tex and put it on. He wouldn't listen to me this morning and now he's moaning that it's cold. So, so this is a light rain jacket. Yeah, that's, it, hasn't been, it hasn't been light rain. It's been Gore-Tex rain. You didn't bring your Gore-Tex, so... All right. Yeah. And now he's shoving it in your pocket. Will that fit in your bag? Yes, it will. You can put it in my bag if you want. Where's all your bags? Oh, oh. I'm carrying all the tools. For one, today, yeah, about time. For, For once, once the isn't it? 69 Maloney's down, and it's time to say goodbye to Kyle. Kyle's heading off home, aren't you? Yeah. And I'm going to get the 10,000 Maloney's. Now, what I will say is, I'm very grateful for these bad boys today. Spatsies. Spats. Kyle's got spats as well, haven't you? Keep my toes warm and dry. They did actually gift us them, and they gave Kyle some. Kyle's first gifted item. Do you feel like royalty, Kyle? I love them. You love them, don't you? It's got warm feet. It's got warm feet. Yeah, it's great. Great stuff. But just remember, put them on before you put your shoe on because you meant to put them on first, then you put your shoe on. So I keep doing that. But yeah. Time to say goodbye. Off you go then, Kyle. I'll see you later. Get those pots done when you get home. Go on. Seven I'm cracking the whip. Go and get those pots done and make their beds. Hey. You kiss my behind. See ya. Uh, I've got a horrible headwind and I made another error today. I put dry lube on my chain instead of wet lube. So because it was raining so bad, my chain is basically dry. So it's not making too good of a sound at the moment, but I've only got like 25 millones to go. So it'll be all right. Sorry, Canny, I feel a bit bad. But the weather's turning out all right, apart from the blooming wind. Woo. I feel like I'm pushing against the gale. 18 mile an hour headwind so not too fun but I do feel good to be out on my bike and yeah I feel grateful just to be able to come out and ride my bike and have these roads so I can't complain. Yippee! Woohoo! 
Down I go. Soaking in those Malones. I've got my mouth full. I've got 15 Malones to go. I just saw a nice church. And I thought you can always trust a church to have a bench. And it did. So me and Canny have just stopped for a nice little snack. And I needed it. Mm. The wind's taking it out of me today. Very windy. But I can't believe that at the end of this ride, I've done 10,000 Malones, aka 16,000 kilometres. The other mistake that I made today, other than forgetting, well, not putting the right lube on my bike, is that I forgot to put my chamois cream on. So my tushy's not very happy because when it rains, you're more likely to get the rubbing down below from your bib shorts. So not ideal, but we're nearly back, so it's all right. And I'm just grateful to be able to ride. I mean, I was just thinking about it like, I don't know, just, it's great that you just get out on your bike and Sometimes think when it's windy and horrible, although it's not as enjoyable as when it's sunny, it does like make you feel alive. You know, if you've got a down day or feeling bad, I think sometimes when it's windy and horrible, like if you're feeling a bit numb, it like wakes you up and you feel alive and yeah. Although, yeah, today I already felt alive, so I didn't really need the wind, <laughs> but it's all right. And I also think like, you know, you're just cycling along and you just see the views and the fields and you just think, ah. The world is great. And then you go back to work and the reality of paying your mortgage, but you don't think about that when you're on your ride. You just realise that like the world's massive and your worries are pretty insignificant, to be honest. So just enjoy yourself and don't worry what people think, because at the end of the day, one day we're going to be in one of these. <laughs> and I know that's not really very positive, but when I've been down and stuff, it actually helps me to think that like one day we're not going to be here. So don't worry about stuff just I mean, live your life and enjoy it and obviously that is things you have to do like you have to go to work and you have to you know pay your bills and all that but in your time that you've got just do what you want and don't worry what people think I mean when I left my job I was like really worried what people were thinking and all that but actually nobody really cares everyone's too focused on themselves so just enjoy yourself and I mean, yippee down your hills but yeah because one day no one will even know who I was so Go on your eyes and enjoy it. But yeah, sorry to put a downer there, but to me, like, that actually helps me. When I've been at my lowest point, it's actually helped me to, like, remind myself that one day I won't be here. So I've only got one chance. Like, that I, like everyone has different beliefs, but I, I'm, like, in my head, I've only got one life. So now we just try and make, make the most of every day. And you can't always do that. Like, you're not in a good mood all the time, but that's okay. You can't be happy all the time. I think that's another thing. Like, you can't go through life being happy all the time but when you are happy make the most of it and that's my little philosophical moment over for today <laughs> time to get back on the bike <laughs> problem is when you sit down it's really hard to get back up again <laughs> come on amy get those lines up let's go Yippee! Woo last few malones to go and that's my ride d for day the diddlyo and news in from Strava, just checked. Don't know if you see on the screen, but 1,000 and 1 Malone, 0.8. I don't know if I said that right. 1,000 and 1.8 Malone, that's it. Oh, thank goodness. And tonight, for our dinner, we're having homemade chicken curry. But I did actually see some dead birds on the road and then it felt really bad. And then I was like, we're actually eating chicken tonight. And then it made me feel even more bad. But then I just thought, well, I do need the protein and yeah. I have thought about being a vegetarian, but I don't know why I'm talking about this right now. It just came to my head when I thought of the dead chicken, and then now I'm You're waffling on me. And now I'm waffling, but Kyle is already from him home and changed. Come. So, yeah. But now we're going to Tesco before it closes because I need to get some milk, some chai latte powder because I think I deserve it, and maybe some chocolate. Do you think, Kyle? Mm hmm. Do you need anything from Tesco? I'm not that I know Yeah. But anyway, we're going to say bye now. Chester, do you want to say bye? Say bye. Thank you so much for watching. TT to the FN. Goodbye. Oh, and if you could tap your little pinky and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it, wouldn't we, Kyle? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Bye.